Hello and welcome to the 2013 version of the training videos for the Signing and Interpreting for the Deaf event at LTC here in Tucson this year. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. Now you can use this set of videos in a number of different ways. Um, if you are a student and you've got absolutely nobody else to teach you, you can learn from these videos. I'm trying to put them together so that you can, on your own, learn the signing and interpreting part for this, for this event. Lots and lots and lots of participants do that. Um, last time I looked, about 60% of you were learning strictly from these videos. But if you are an instructor and you are trying to help a group of kids or a group of participants learn signs, your signs may be a little rusty. You can use this to kind of bone up on some of your signs. Um, just so I've said it, this set of videos is not a golden standard for signing. If your signs are different from what's in the video, that is okay. Uh, some people say y'all. It, it's just a different way of saying things. So if you have signs that are different from this video, that is fine. If you're left-handed, this video shows the right-handed way of signing. Sign with your left hand. Now uh, that's fine. If you want to use more ASL, that's fine. I have found in teaching on these things that it is impossible to teach ASL to someone who is just learning how to do signs. So these signs that I'll be showing you are pretty English. Uh, there'll be some deafness to them, but for the most part it's really going to be signed English. Now if you are a C signer, S-E-E -E signer, and you do signed exact English, that is okay too. Uh, the point of these videos is to be helpful, not to set a standard. Now I've got three songs that are really good this year for signing. Uh, the first one, and they're not really any kind of order, but anyway, the first one is Days of Elijah. I've wanted to do this song for a while because it's just so much fun to sign, but it's a little quick. And uh, if you're going to choose this song, you're going to be you're going to need to practice on it a little bit. But it's a fun song. You get your hands moving, you get yourself moving into it, and it's just a, really a blessing. The song's about the days of Elijah. Okay, now what are the days of Elijah? The days of Elijah are today. Elijah was a prophet looking forward for things to come. David was looking forward for things to come. Ezekiel, looking forward. Moses was looking forward. They did God's will, wanting things to happen, that they knew that they were never going to live long enough to see. And we are living in those days. So these are the days of Elijah. That's the point of the song. Then I have sort of the, uh, an older favorite, uh, Purer in Heart. I think in today's world, uh, this is a prayer song, and we will be learning it as a prayer song. And we really need to be in our world today, praying for a purer heart, because it is so easy to get our hearts polluted by all the stuff that's around us. And the last song is, um, uh, oh, what's it called? It's called, Come Share the Lord. Yes, <laughs> drew a blank there for a second, sorry about that. Come Share the Lord. We often sing this at the, at the beginning of the Lord's Table. Uh, it's kind of a newer, older song. We've been singing it a lot. Uh, I know a lot of congregations who do sing it. And uh, it is a favorite by many. Uh, I specifically like the part where it says, No one is a stranger here. Everyone belongs. And then the scripture we'll be doing is from John chapter 13, verses 1 through 12. Uh, if you have somebody or you are somebody who already knows signs, uh, that maybe you grew up in a family that, that just signed, or has deaf parents, or is deaf themselves. 
Um, the scripture is one of those things that's a little bit challenging. It's a lot challenging. And if you have somebody who wants to do the event, but the songs are a little bit too easy, the scripture is some place where they can excel. I have had uh, participants at Palo Verde that have come through from third grade all the way to twelfth. By the time they get to ninth grade, they can learn the song in 30 minutes. So we, I've had numerous students that said, okay, I've graduated from the songs, I'm going to go on to the scripture. If you have somebody like that, be sure to encourage that. Um, I'm hoping my voice will hold out through this. I have had really bad uh, uh, chest gunk. I think I have what I'm calling the thousand day cough. And uh, anyway, that's why I'm a little bit late getting these done. I was hoping to get these done earlier in December, but I just had no voice to do it. So anyway, that aside, I look forward to seeing you there at LTC. Choose wisely on the song. Practice. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, send me an email. My email is really easy, paul at lemons.name. Contact me through the website. All of these videos, and you're seeing this one, you're probably already found it. It's on YouTube. And uh, anyway, God bless. Look forward to seeing you there at LTC.